Tiana and in today's video we're going to be doing another house to forever home update. So if you're new here my family and I have been living in our dream home for just about three months and we are just transforming each space little by little to make this house our forever home. So if you love all things home decor DIY that white black and gray aesthetic as well as clean with me's please be sure to hit that subscribe button to join our March Forever family. And if you're an audible video, welcome back guys. And so also don't forget to follow us on our March Forever Home Instagram page right here. Um, we have tons of fun over there and you guys really helped me make a lot of decisions over here as well as over there. So be sure to follow us there. So um, today we're actually going to be doing the other half of the kitchen. So we did this side last week and I still absolutely love it it's super minimal there's not a lot going on and it feels comfortable finally and so i know we did some things with the spice drawers the spice cabinets the utensil um drawers um but the countertop was the priority but we had to do those drawers to make the counter how we wanted it um and it's just it's just perfect it's not a lot going on when I come downstairs, I look straight at the backsplash and that was the <coughs> ultimate goal. So, I'm happy about that. And so today we're going to be focusing on the breakfast area. So we did not finish our butler's pantry. We left that empty and we do not plan on finishing it as of right now. We want to leave it for like a homework station, like kind of like your workstation. Um, we're not big drinkers and so just didn't want to do that. And we also did not want to put the coffee station over there. Kind of wanted it to be showcased. Um, the bread view is a piece. I love it being in the kitchen. And um, I'm glad that we're choosing that side to do the um, breakfast area. When I was looking at my drawings like a couple of days ago, I showed on Instagram all the drawings I did of the kitchen. The original drawing had the Nespresso on that counter. So I'm glad to know that. Um, I'm sticking to some design ideas and so the goal is to make it look like a mini Starbucks We have the big espresso machine now and I want like a couple pastries like one pastry a week and My fruits and things over there because that's what I'll probably prepare my breakfast if we ever get a toaster I'll put my toaster like under the cabinets um, because that's where I'll prepare breakfast when I make my oatmeal in the microwave, it'll be over there because the microwave's over there. When I'm making my tea, it'll be over there because the microwave's over there. So that's gonna be like a real breakfast station. So mini Starbucks, mini Premier is what we're going for. And so first things first, I'm gonna do a haul for you guys to show you guys everything we purchased over the past couple weeks for that space. We'll also be organizing some of the cabinets um, and drawers because as you guys know by now we are doing IVF and we have tons of pills when it's time to do IVF I take like a million pills a day and when I refill them They everywhere and so I want to use the lazy Susans for that um, As well as other things to help us organize so we'll be doing the whole section for the most part So let's dive into the haul first Okay guys so Let's start with good old Amazon must-haves. It's becoming a thing. It's been a thing. Eric is really bad with Amazon. Like It's a package every day because of Amazon, and I have joined the Amazon train officially. <laughs> and so the first thing that I purchased from Amazon were these gorgeous glass containers with the bamboo lid. These are the containers I will be transitioning to when I redo the pantry like really really redo it as in redo the shelving and some more stuff i'll probably transition into these ones right now i plan on using these for our loose teas as well as our coffee beans maybe i'm not sure it does have an airtight seal so we could keep the beans fresh but we'll see okay i love how this actually matches the spice jars we have so this is a spice jar has the same exact lid the bamboo lid the glass bottom absolutely love it i'm gonna have to also put the expiration dates at the bottom just like i did the spices too so there's that four of those came in a contain in a pack 
and I will link everything down below. I finally figured out the Amazon, Amazon, Amazon store situation. Um, I was having tons of trouble, but I finally figured it out. So everything will be linked down there, organized down there. And if I miss anything, let me know in the comments and I'll add it as soon as I can. Okay, so those were the bamboo canisters. The next thing I ordered were these beautiful, 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 beautiful mugs. These are glass mugs. They're actually insulated. So you can see the bottom is actually insulated. And these are the exact size as a grande. So they're 16 ounces. I bought some mugs from Marshalls, but they were only like 10 or 12 ounces. And I'm like, no, I wanna be able to make a true grande. And so I was looking for glasses that were 16 ounces. Um, when I go to Starbucks, I usually get, when I get a Venti, I get a triple Venti. And it's a little difficult or tedious, should I say, making a triple on the Breville. Um, Cause you can do singles or doubles and you can do singles or doubles, but it's just a lot like to go back and forth. And so I said, let me just get grande so I can make an easy grande. A grande is a double shot. And the great thing about these is that they're stackable. So I didn't want tons of mugs in my cabinet. I didn't want to have to hang them under a cabinet. I didn't want to have to get a mug, uh, a mug, I don't know, a mug tray or a mug something to hold the mugs, whatever they're called, I can't think right now. Um, a mug holder, should I say. I wanted something that can stand alone on its own. The fact that these are stackable, it sets right in. I love that. So these are from Amazon as well. Okay, I also got some more Lazy Susans. Um, these are the same ones I used in the spice cabinet behind me. And I want these for the pills so that when I'm refilling or looking for a specific um, pill bottle, I can just versus reaching in because it's a mess in that cabinet. You guys will see. Um, I didn't purchase this, but I wanted just to show this because I'm sure I'm going to use it. I got this from Target out of the $3 section. Well, like the $5 section is for $3, so I got like four of them. A little ceramic tray, thinking about putting um, the pumps on this, as well as by the sink whenever we get a pump specifically for that. And like a little sponge, I'm going to probably put this on this because I got four of these. Didn't just buy these, but I did want to show them. Okay, that's that. Um, let me show the pumps now. All right, so here are the pumps. This is some lotion bottle pumps from Amazon, of course. <laughs> and I was really, really wanted to pump because it makes it easier for you to put the amount you want in your cup. The pumps that you, the bottles that we buy, they don't come with pumps. And so we have to pour, get a <coughs> little teaspoon. And that's just too much. So one pump and done. Cause I only like one pump in my latte. So there's that. And I bought, this came in a pack of two and I bought four of them. I bought two packs, so I have four of them. So there's that. And I was thinking about putting them on this tray like this. Okay, put two on a tray, okay. Um, the next thing I purchased were these silicone straws from Amazon as well. Love these. They also come with a straw cleaner. Like a, so that's perfect. Love that. Um, and I wanted something that would fit nicely inside this so that I can my coffee. <laughs> so I can drink my coffee out of a straw. So there's that. Um, what else did I purchase? from Amazon. I think that's all from Amazon. Okay, that's it from Amazon. And so something I purchased from Etsy I'll show um, were these labels. They're identical, can you guys see that? There we go. They're identical to the ones that I purchased for my glass um, spice jars. They're identical. Um, so. The shop from Etsy is Ellie and Opal. Um, really cute. Got a little card and everything. Really cute. And so she has some presets already done, but I wanted a custom pack. And so I asked her to make vanilla, pumpkin spice for the fall, 
hazelnut, white mocha. Eric likes white mocha. And I also just did honey because I do want to try the honey syrup maybe to try honey latte. So I got it just because I might want to try that. But um, standard, we do vanilla and hazelnut. Eric likes white mocha and then pumpkin spice if I can get my hands on it. If I can get my hands on it. <laughs> um, that was from Etsy. Then if we travel to Marshalls and Home Goods, hard for me to remember where I got what. So let's just put Marshalls and Home Goods in one category. Um, I purchased these little shot glasses. These little glasses, can we see them? Let me put it behind them. The Lazy Susan is multi-purpose today. All right, so there's that little shot glass. And I got these because whenever I extract my shots out of the espresso machine, I like them to first go in shot glasses so that I can see. When I worked at Starbucks, we used to use the shot glasses. Like when you first learned how to make drinks, we used the shot glasses. But then we would use them when someone got a caramel macchiato because the shots go on top. And so I like to keep these on top of the Breville because when the Breville gets warm, it warms these up and then the shots go in here, you know, keep it warm. Like they put your mugs on top of it, but I like to put the shot glasses on top of it. So there's that. Um, also from Home Goods, I purchased these baskets. This will probably go into that peel, peel cabinet with all the access um, peels and boxes like Eric has horrific allergies so all of the allergy medicine can just go in here because it's always everywhere um this i also got from the target in the three dollar section didn't just buy it but i just wanted to show it um an alexa holds one of them it's usually a candle on here but i want to repurpose it and i can take these legs off if i want to now the way i want to repurpose it is using this little like mini cake stand or cake holder. Um, it's really small and I love it. It was 10 bucks from um, Home Goods. And so the option is to use the wood um, pastry holder like this, or option two would be to put it on top like this. And again, I can remove the legs if I want so that it can be black over there. So, and it fits literally perfectly. So those are two options we have. Don't know which option I'm gonna choose right now. I'm just gonna play with it. I was just thinking of um, a way to add more height since everything is gonna be like sitting on the counter. Um, I think that's everything I have purchased. Now, some other things that I purchased, I just wanna show you guys really, really quickly. Um, I know we went over the glass cabinet I did last time, but I decided to treat myself to some new glasses. So Crate and Barrel has tried to deliver my bookcase for a second time and they <coughs> broke it by putting it on the truck. So at this point they refunded me my shipping and they also sent me a $150 gift card for the inconvenience. So I said, let me go and get the glasses I wanted because I've seen them in William and Sonoma too. And I was just waiting patiently, but I finally said, let me get them. And so I have these gorgeous Olivia Pope red wine glasses, oversized, they're really gorgeous. And then I got four of these. And then I also got four of the white wine Olivia Pope glasses. So you'll see how big it is in comparison. This one is really big. Okay, so I got four of each of these. Uh, and these are gonna be for like, not everybody who come over, okay? Like, I kept the other ones for like, anybody coming over drinking wine and you can't use one of these. It's like elite guest. <laughs> Then I purchased two of these champagne flutes, and these are really tall in comparison to the red wine ones. They're the same height, so very, very tall. I love this glass. I got two of these, and then I got two of these like martini slash champagne coupe glasses. Love these, and um, I was thinking for me, I'm not a champagne person. This is a mimosa. 
or fruit mosa. Um, but I was thinking about putting like a little mini sundae in here since I'm on a low diet. Gotta get my life together, y'all. Oh my god, moving and just not having a routine has just ruined me. And so, when I have like a little mini sundae, I can put it in this glass and eat my ice cream out of here. <laughs> so, that's that. All right, so that's all the stuff that I purchased to help me organize that section. So let's just get started. I'm not going to do much talking probably because I have, I usually what I'll do is sometimes, not with this side, but like in the office and stuff, I'll map out everything and like test it out first before I film. And today, one of those days where I did this. So I'm going to try to do this too in like a good 10 minutes so I can go for a walk and enjoy dinner with my boo. We actually ordered Grace's. It's like an um, Asian place at the National Harbor where we live and we ordered some sushi. We ordered some, um, I think spring rolls. And what else, we got some salads. It's like real bougie Asian. So we're gonna eat on our deck tonight and watch the sunset. So I'm super excited for that. So let me hurry up so I can spend time with my man. Ready? Here we go. <laughs>
All right guys, so here's the final look of the kitchen. We absolutely love it. Um, we didn't really have a true picture of inspiration. We seen pictures where we like this, we like that, but not like a full picture to emulate. We just went with the vibes and it's giving vibes, okay. Um, and so Eric did briefly mention changing the pendy lights. Um, we're not really entertaining right now. And just kind of like if we see something we like, we'll get. As you guys know, when we moved in, we just had caps. And so we had to really put something over here quickly because our island was dark. Found these, loved them, and they work great. But Eric was saying, what if we did something white or clear, clear glass, um, so that we can really focus even more on the backsplash. So what do you guys think? Drop that below, um, your personal opinions. I think that if we do change it, I would like to do something where the light is like on a globe where it's like all around the light versus doing a shade where the light just points in one direction. I'm just wondering how much more light they'll provide in this space so they're like no dark or black spots. Um, so let me know what you guys think. This is also recorded a week later, y'all, because I was literally editing it, editing it and like, where is the closing? <laughs> and so we'll be able to see if we upkept the cabinets and drawers because I'm truly not cheating. I really was just um, editing. So let's see um, how we did. But to start, I was on Instagram and seen a reel and these chairs are a bomb dupe for somewhere expensive. I don't know the company, I would have to figure it out, but I was like, well, we did good because these were 60 bucks from Marshalls and now they're 80 if you find them, or probably more now. But when I seen them, I think, I think in the nine in the summer, right before we moved in, it was like 80 bucks. So, love these chairs. Anyways. The island, I thought I was gonna put more stuff on because it's bigger, so more space, more stuff, but no, I really like the minimal look. Um, I prep here, wash dishes, dry dishes and things. We eat here as well, and so I like just having my fresh flowers with some greenery on my Lazy Susan as well as a candle. I usually only do white flowers or greenery, but I was feeling a little springish today, and so um, I like the color, but I'll probably almost always do white unless I just can't. Um, what else? I do like that little electric lighter, y'all, but I'm probably not gonna get one because if my son see me lighting it, he's gonna then wanna play with that gadget. He's very curious right now. He's in his terrific twos, and that's something I would still have to put away. It would never be able to be displayed because he can crawl up here. So what I've been doing is either using a lighter or using my little kebab stick to get down low if it's like too far down, and that's been working great. So I'm just gonna stick with that. I have to really think about practicality, functionality, and being safe, being a mom of a toddler. Um, and then we have the dish right here with the soap. And I love the Dawn no flip, no mess dispenser situation. If I think, I don't think I wanna buy a dispenser because one, I just think you need two. And I don't know what to put in the second one. When I wanna wash my hands, I just use the Dawn, okay? Or go to the bathroom right there. So it won't even be like symmetrical for me. So I put a, usually put a sponge right there and that's it. Um, and yeah, I just don't think I want a dispenser. It's so easy to squeeze it in the sink or in a dish. And I just love how easy it is. So I'm choosing again, um, functionality over aesthetics any day. All right, let's go on this side to see what we did. So down here I have this rug. This came from the old house. It's a little shaggy. I like something cushiony under my feet, especially when I'm standing for a long time washing dishes. But I'm always spilling water, so I just put this here since we have an office carpet or rug. And it has great taupes, creams, charcoal, black, so it just works with the color scheme we already have going on. And then here is the reason for the video, okay? This little mini Starbucks mini Panera came out 
fabulously and I absolutely love it. So to start over here, have my pills because if they're out of sight, they're out of mind. And so I do have a timer when I take my pills, but I like them to be visible. Then we have the Alexa home here. Um, Alexa, no. Turn off Alexa. Okay, whoo cha. About to start talking and playing music stuff, whatever. Okay, and so we have her, I'll say her, right here. And I might spray paint that white base because it's driving me. Um, I love how this dish can hold four regular size muffins. I usually buy them from Safeway, from the bakery, and they fit perfectly. Eric Chunk, love those. So that's perfect. And then I'd be loving these pumps um, on this tray. This looks so intentional on the tray. Love these labels from Ellie and Opal on Etsy. They're so pretty. Now we need to figure out how many pumps is equivalent to one Starbucks pump. Because one of these pumps is definitely not it. Because a Starbucks pump is huge. So I have to figure that out so we can get the taste right for our coffee. Um, because before having a pump, we just pour and it was perfect. Um, and then here is the Breville. It is so gorgeous, so easy to use, guys, and I love it. I love all the manual features. Now, I did have the Nespresso, but I will say pod coffee is different from fresh whole beans being ground and then, you know, um, extracted from the espresso part. It's totally different. I also didn't like how with the Nespresso, the milk frother that came with it, it would foam my milk up too much and I hate foam. I just don't like the texture. And I also didn't like how it wouldn't make my milk super hot. And with this, I can make the milk as hot as I want with my little steam wand. And so that's a big, big bonus for me. But very easy to use once you learn the features. It does take about, I'll say one or two bags of coffee beans to figure it out. But um, once you do, it literally tastes identical to Starbucks and I'm not being dramatic and then I love how we um showcase the beans in the loose leaf tea versus just putting the clear mugs here it adds a little bit more color that wooden element to tie in you know the lazy susan and the crate and barrel canisters and the wood utensils so I love that there and then having the fruit she I mean that fruit the fresh fruit here adds just some freshness to the space and some color of course and I love how Chunk can tell me specifically I want a nana I want an orange and so I love that um but yeah one more little shot of this it just looks so good like we definitely did that this is definitely a mini Starbucks mini Panera I love it all right now let's see how we did with the cabinets all right so this is the cabinet and they're only gonna look but so neat because I'm not about to buy all the same uniform cups and mugs so we can look a certain way. This is totally fine for me. And the clear mugs usually go right there but they're currently in the dishwasher. So I'm glad we were able to upkeep that all week. Let's see what this pill container giving because baby. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks good, it looks good. I mean this pill cabinet, it looks good though. Um, we kept it up. It's still very neat. Eric had terrible allergies this week and so I thought that was gonna be a mess. But it's not and I refilled my pill container and it was so easy to like maneuver. So I'm glad that came out great. Ooh, the junk drawer. Okay, still junky but organized junky. I can take that. And then here's more junk, the dog stuff and then just some extra stuff that don't matter. I think there's an Alexa um, box down there or something. And then here's our little coffee tea drawer. This is perfect. Everything we need at our fingertips. And then this is the access, like the core stuff we did. That works perfectly. Um, and then it's really nothing in here. It's a calendar. We won't throw that away and get an acrylic one to put in the office. And then this is gonna go in the living room on our gallery wall probably. And then here we were able to put all our, oh yeah, perfect, our Tupperware. And we're probably gonna put um, chunks, cups, plates, and bowls here too, just so that he can grab his own stuff. I'm trying to raise an independent child and I need things to be in arm reach so that he can be independent. Another junk drawer, I love this because I'm always taping something and I need this because I'm always measuring something because we're always looking for furniture. <laughs> and then we had ODA oh, diapers and wipes, that's essential for us. And I think in here's just, yeah, shoe covers in there. So nothing really there. Trash bags in there. Um, all my warranties here, like something, if I spill something, I can just soap it up real quick. Or we'll sop it up real quick. <laughs> Do y'all say sop? <laughs> and then, I have my vases for my flowers there. And then here, I'm glad this is on the left because I'm left-handed. 
but I have all my dish pots here and I'm always probably gonna purchase these ones because the other ones are just too pretty and too interesting and if I ever drop one and it gets stuck somewhere like under the cabinet and I don't see it but Chunk sees it or the dog sees it, they're gonna put it in their mouth. They're not gonna put this in their mouth so this works great. There's usually more sponges and stuff in here when it is full and nothing is in there. And then this is this side again guys. <clears throat> love it it's just it's just so beautiful it came out so good i just love the way it looks it's so functional and as i've been cooking and using the space it's just been so easy and it just feels so right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i hope you guys love the kitchen if not it's okay we do but let us know what you think down below but that's all our time until the next time and we will see you guys later bye that's all I need for you to believe in my family.